Hey everybody, good morning. Welcome to another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning today. It is a magnificent, albeit a little overcast Monday, and we're going to continue our conversation on the 7 Keys to Happiness. Stay tuned. Okay, happiness, happy, healthy, balanced. Uh, <laughs> but it's Monday. I'm still working on my coffee here. How are you this Monday morning? Hope you had a great weekend. If you are watching live or watching on the replay, drop me a little comment down there. Let me know that you are here. It always makes me happy to see folks as they join, just like Joe did. Good morning, Joe. Thank you for being here. So last week, we were talking about the seven keys to a happy, healthy, and balanced life. Do you, anybody remember what the first four were? We got through four of them last week. And uh, they're beginning to spell a word. We'll see what that word is as, uh, as this week unfolds. But first is how you manage your time. The second one's how you manage your health. The third one are those important relationships and the uh, fourth one <laughs> would be um, your emotional labor, the thing you do that brings you joy and fulfillment. All right, so that's time, health, relationships, and emotional labor. Today we're going to get on with number five. Number five is, drum roll please, activities. Yeah, it's simple. We've got to have we, we have to have stuff going on, right? I mean, if you've ever been sick or um, actually maybe recovering from an injury is even better, where you're laid up and you can't move around and you just have to sit there, how boring it becomes. Well, that's definitely, boring is definitely not part of a happy, healthy, balanced life. you got to have activities. And... and it, not it doesn't have to be you know base jumping or mountain climbing or or something like that but you do have to have things that you get out and do you know it's I, I've been very fortunate in my life to be able to see a large part of the, part of the world lived or worked on four continents and it's a lot different than where I grew up the rest of the world is very different. Right? And so I think about the people who have never had that opportunity, who've never ventured further than, I don't know, a hundred miles away from home. What their worldview must be like compared to someone who's had an opportunity to see a lot more of it. So your activity, you can replace the word activity with adventure if you like. It has to be something that challenges you, that pushes you outside the comfort zone. Now, as you may begin to see a pattern develop in these seven keys, there's a lot of this idea of pushing outside of your comfort zone, that we get locked into this area where we're comfortable, this, this zone where we're feeling, okay, I've got everything under control here. You know, Mario Andretti, great Formula One race car driver, had a great saying. Said, if you feel like you're in control, you're not going fast enough. How about that? So, it's definitely an encouragement to increase speed. Now, speed without control is dangerous, right? So you got to live right there on the edge. I think that's what he was was saying. You know, if I'm going slow enough to feel like I'm in total control, then I'm not going fast enough. And if I feel like I'm right on the edge of losing it, that's right where you want to be. So activities, and this is not, you can't, mm -mm, you can't say, well, um, you know, I teach aerobics, so that's got my activities or adventures covered. Nope, doesn't count. What you do for work does not count. Even if you get to travel a lot with your work, Right? If you travel from one meeting to another meeting to another meeting, there's no adventure in that. There's no activity in that. You've got to do something outside of those meetings while you're laid over for an extra day or a weekend. Go out on your own. Oh, my goodness. 
What is he talking about? Go out on your own, right? Explore new cities and new civilizations. I know um, civilizations. Explore new cities. I know uh, I had an opportunity a couple of years ago to go to India. And during the, I was there for two weeks, and then that middle weekend, um, I got, a, I hired a, a tour guide through the hotel, and they took me all over town. I mean, it was literally an all day thing. I was exhausted when we got done. But I got to see a lot of stuff. I'm, I mean, it's just, you've got to get out there and see other things. That's what I want to encourage you with today. You know, what have you, what would you like to go see? That's even the question I'll leave you with today, right? What's something that you would like to see in your life that you haven't had a chance to see? Grand Canyon? Yep, been there and done that. Rocky Mountains? Been there. You know, both oceans? Uh, what is it? But both oceans, there's seven seas, right? But, but anyway, you get what I'm talking about. What is it that you want to see? What's the adventure that's on your bucket list? Leave that in the comments down there. Let me know what it is. We'll work on getting you there so that you can have that adventure in your life. So time, health, relationships, emotional labor, activities, or adventure, whichever word works best for you. Tomorrow we're going to come back and continue with, uh, let's see, um, EA. So tomorrow's word begins with a D. See if you know what that is. If you've got any idea what the D word is that we'll talk about tomorrow, one of the seven keys. Key number six to a happy, healthy, and balanced life. Drop that in the comments also. As always, if there's ever anything I can do to help you uh, along your journey, feel free to drop me a line. Tom at TomRigsby.com or just leave me a message here on this video. All right, that's it for today. I'll be back again tomorrow. Until then, remember, what's the adventure that you would like to put on your bucket list? Leave that down in the comments. And what do you think tomorrow's word is? It begins with the letter D. Right? We will be back again tomorrow, and I will talk to you then. Have a great Monday.